Welcome back to my channel. I've got another makeup tutorial today. This one is gonna be super detailed and really intricate, so don't mind the fact that's a little bit longer than usual. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this look. As usual, I'm gonna be starting off priming my eyes using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number no. Four. I'm gonna be using a flat concealer brush from Lena Lashes, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start carving underneath my brows first, and then applying it all over the lid to a prep for my eyeshadow. Shadow. So once it's all blended out, I'm gonna go into the Carnival palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Stacey Marie. And I'm gonna be taking this deeper red shade and start applying that onto the crease. The shape that I'm doing for this look is more like of a winged shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for like my crease colors. So I'm gonna apply this onto the crease and then just make sure to give it a nice flick at the end. Before I go in with my second shadow, I'm gonna use a little bit of Fenty Beauty's blotting powder. I'm using this to set the base above that red eyeshadow that we applied. This is gonna make it a lot easier for me to get that really smooth, diffused effect when we go in with our second shade. Then going in with the shade Keen, which is that bright yellow, I'm gonna use this to blend out the edges of that dark red that we applied. To deepen up the crease, I'm gonna use the shade Liquor. Ooh, I love this color so much, it's so pretty. I'm using a smaller brush for this step. This is a Morphe M507. It's slightly more tapered and more pointed at the end, so it's gonna be a lot easier for me to get that precision, but it's also fluffy enough where I can blend the color out at the same time. So I'm applying that color right below that red and then going in with my previous brushes to give it an extra blend. Before I cut my crease, I'm gonna use a little bit of eye makeup remover. This one is from Lancome. And with a small little Q-tip, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my lid space. So that way when I cut my crease, the base that I use doesn't blend in with any other eyeshadows and change the color. All right guys, so this is the fun part. We're gonna go ahead and start creating that blue liner. I'm gonna be using a P. Louise base. This one is in the shade Touch of Frost. It's a lighter blue color. I thought this color would look really cute with all like the warmer reds that we have. So I'm gonna be using this to cut the crease first and it's also gonna act as a liner. So I'm not gonna bring this color too far down. I'm pretty much gonna just drag it down just slightly to get the thickness of my liner. Once I have like my cut crease done, I'm gonna go in with a light blue eyeshadow this one is from the Bombshell Cosmetics Sour Blast palette. I just use that to set the base. I'm then gonna go ahead and create a second cut crease. To create this cut crease, I'm using two different types of bases. One is white and one is a brighter orange. Both of them are from P. Louise. And I'm gonna go in with the white first. That one is gonna go on the outer portion of the eye and then the orange I'm gonna use on the inner part of the eye. Once I have both of those colors applied, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush and then just make sure to blend in the middle of those two. So that way it has like a nice smooth transition between like the orange and the white and there's like a harsh line in between. Now 
Next, I wanna start setting the bases that we applied on the lid. So I'm using this bright orange from the Carnival palette. This is the shade Lit. And I'm gonna start applying that onto the inner part of the eye. Then next to Lit, I'm gonna use the shade Truffle. This is more of like a mustardy yellow and apply that right next to it to start creating our ombre. Then with Keen, I'm gonna use that to blend out the edge of Truffle. Then to set the outer edge of our lid, I'm gonna use a bit of white eyeshadow and just press that against the remaining white that we have left there. Going back in with that blue base, I'm gonna do some extra line work. I'm first gonna create a line on the outer edge from the outer corner of my eye all the way up into the end of our wings liner. I'm also gonna draw some slanted lines, kind of parallel to the first one that we created, then set those lines with the same blue eyeshadow that we used to set our wings liner. So in between those three lines that we just drew, you should have two empty spaces. I'm gonna be going into the one closest to the inner part of the eye and fill that in with a bit of glitter. This is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadows. These ones are brand new, they just launched. And I'm gonna use a fine little art brush and fill in that empty space to give like some extra glitter detailing. I'm then gonna go back in with my Louise base. This one is the number four, same one that we used to prime the eyes and clean up the outer edge of the eye. So it's almost time for lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara first. This is the Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara. I'm not really sure I like this one very much. Um, I'm not sure, it just kind of made my lashes look really like clumpy and I didn't really like that. So um, yeah, but just go ahead and use your favorite mascara. Um, so that way your false lashes kind of blend in a little bit easier into your natural lashes. The falsies that I'm using today are from Lily Lashes and these are in the style Miami. I wanted to use something that has more of like gaps in between the lashes. Lashes. So that way you can still see all of the eye work that we just did because we work so hard on the eyes You don't want to just like hide them with lashes and everything So once the lashes are on I'm gonna go ahead and press them together with my natural lashes using some curlers and the eyes are done guys woo -woo. We can go ahead and move on to skin I'm using the wet and wild rose toner first because we want our skin to be really refreshed and everything like that After all that we've been through with the eyes I feel like my skin needs a little bit of a pick-me-up So that's what this rose toner is gonna do. I'm then gonna go in with some of the rose serum primer and I'm just gonna spread that all over my skin. I just love the way these two products together look underneath my foundation. That's why I'm using them. Once that's all buffed in, I'm gonna go ahead and start using some primer. This is the CoverGirl Skin Soothing Primer. Blech. This is the CoverGirl Skin Scoot. Oh my gosh, this is the CoverGirl Skin Smoothing Primer. And I'm gonna buff that into the skin as well so we have a nice smooth base to work on. And for all of the oilier areas on my face, I'm gonna use the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I'm placing this on the forehead, the nose. It does a really good job smoothing out pores. So I'm placing it on my cheek area as well. And this is gonna help kind of make sure like all the areas where are oily kind of stay nice and matte. So I'm really making sure to focus this just on those areas. I don't want to put this anywhere else. And then to give our skin a little bit of that extra glow, that inner glow and everything, I'm going to use an OPV liquid highlighter and just place this on all the high points of the face before I move on to foundation. For 
foundation, I'm gonna be using something new. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum one. It's okay. I think it's the coverage that kind of got me with this one. It's not like full coverage. It's more of like a, um, I would say like a light to medium. You can probably build it up to be more full coverage, but with me, I just prefer foundations that are like full coverage off the bat. This is a foundation I would wear on like days where I'm not filming because it's more of like that natural type of look. So maybe I need to do like an updated everyday like natural makeup look because I do like the finish of this foundation. It was just the coverage that was kind of like meh. So after I'm done buffing that in, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying some concealer. As usual, I am applying it on all the high points of my face, underneath the eyes and nose. And I'm using the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. I'm using two shades. The first one I'm using is Dulce de Leche. And then the second one, I can't remember the name, but I'll definitely put it down in the description box for you. Then with some Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder, I'm gonna use this to set all the areas where I applied concealer. For bronzer, I'm using a mixture of Saddle and Mahogany from Anastasia. I'm gonna place this on the forehead, the cheeks, the nose, a little bit under the chin, and just kind of overall just warm up the skin a little bit more. After I apply concealer, I always feel like my skin looks flat. So this just brings back that warmth and kind of contours the face a little bit more so it's not all one color. Moving back to the eyes, all the colors that I applied on the crease, I'm gonna go ahead and use on the lower lash line. And we're going from lightest to darkest. So the first color I'm using is Keen, which is that bright yellow. I'm gonna use a Morphe M506 to buff this all over the lash line and I'm taking it pretty far down. I'm then gonna go in with Guilty, which is that deeper red. And with a Morphe M507, this one is more tapered. I'm gonna buff this into the lower lash line as well. And then go back in with that same brush that we used to apply Keen and just kind of blend it out. Then with liquor, I'm gonna use a much, much smaller brush and I'm applying this really, really close to the lashes to smoke it out. For the waterline, I'm going in with some liner from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Alkaline. It's like a deep like wine burgundy color. I really, really like this shade. And it just kind of went with that shade liquor that's really close to the lashes. So it kind of tied in really well with the look. Of course, I gotta go in with some lash primer before I apply some mascara onto my lower lashes because they are non-existent. So this lash primer just kind of makes them look a lot more full. And while it's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my brows as usual using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. For some reason, I made my brows a lot wider today and I didn't like it, but I did fix them off camera. So if they look a little wonky for the next couple of minutes, like just know that I, I know and I fix them. <laughs> but once I fill in my eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and add some clear brow gel just to set the brow hairs, then add some mascara onto the lower lashes. Thank you. 
So before I go in with highlight, I wanna make sure to mold all those powders together onto my skin. So I'm using some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. It's also just gonna help make sure our makeup lasts all day long. And then we're gonna go ahead and dry it down using our fan. And right after, we can go ahead and move on to highlight. I'm gonna be using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Sub-Zero Palette in collaboration with Mitchell. And we're just gonna highlight to the gods like we always do you know we need those astronauts in space to see us now for some reason i did not add my inner corner highlight at this point but i did add it once i was done with the video thank goodness i noticed before i started doing my little poses and stuff for the intro and outro and everything but yeah don't forget your inner corner highlight and don't forget to respray your face after so that way that highlighter molds into the rest of your skin as well then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my lips. I'm lining my lips first using a brown lip pencil from Kiss New York. And this is one of my favorite lip liners at the moment. It's just one of those basic browns that you like to have in your kit for nude lip looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first with that. Then to fill in my lips, I'm gonna be using an Anastasia matte lipstick. This one is in the shade Honey. I've been loving tube lipsticks. I'm so happy that they're kind of like back in or whatever. Not like they were like out, but you know, we were like on the liquid lipstick trend. So like now I'm back into like tube lipsticks and I love it. They're so much more comfortable. But of course, after that, I gotta add some gloss. We're using the Anastasia lip gloss in the shade Undressed. And that is pretty much it for this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's a little bit of a long one, but still, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Let me know what you guys think of the look down below in the comments. If you did like this look, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.